In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop lag on a Hytale server. Now, there's multiple reasons why this could be happening, and in this video, we go over the most common causes and solutions. So the first order of business is to identify what type of lag you have. Now, there are three primary types of lag we have. Number one is TPS lag. We also have network lag and hardware lag. We're going to be going through each of them in this video, starting with TPS lag. So the TPS lag typically feels like time is slowing down in your high tier world and blocks take a second to break. Now the main cause of TPS lag is due to too many mobs, chunk generation load and heavy world scripts. So what you can do to fix this is you can go ahead and reduce the amount of mobs that are in your high tier world. So let's say for example, you have like a huge mega farm or something like that of like sheep, for example, then what you could do is you can go ahead and just keep the farms to a minimal, maybe make the farm smaller or something like that. But definitely the most effective fix for this is to pre-generate your chunks so pre-generating your chunks often gets the job done so before you and your friends start exploring the high tail world or something like that i always suggest pre-generating the chunks so that the server doesn't have to do it while you're actually exploring because that could cause a significant amount of lag so next up we have hardware lag now high is a much bigger game compared to minecraft in terms of storage and the amount of stream that it puts on a server so you're going to need as much resources as possible what could be happening is that you just don't have a sufficient amount of ram or cpu power in order to actually power your high tail server effectively also the amount of players on your server does matter as well if you're trying to have like 20 players on like a 2 gigabyte server you might experience issues so what you could do is you can go ahead and just reduce the amount of players who are playing in your high tail server or if you're able to you could always go ahead and upgrade. I always suggest using a high quality Hytale server provider and that's where our partners over at Simple Game Hosting comes in. The Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Hytale server hosting where you're easily able to create a 24-7 unlimited slot Hytale server for you and all of your friends. You're easily able to include mods and mod packs with the click of a single button and there's 24-7 live customer support so you can always have a Minecraft server expert fix any of your issues and for personal experience, playing Hytale with your friends creates everlasting memories. And if you're just tired of all the lag and stuff like that, and you just want to play Hytale normally, then this is definitely a great option for you. They're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Hytale server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. So if that is something you're interested in, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. So in terms of hardware, the recommended specs are four cores at 3.7 gigahertz and also eight to 16 gigabytes of RAM with SSD, obviously storage to help you out significantly. And the last type of lag we have is network lag. So this happens due to wrong hosting region, bad routing, Wi-Fi players, or packet overload. So when you make your Hytale server, make sure you set it in a region that is close to the majority of the players who are trying to join your Hytale server. So if you and all your friends live in America, for example, try to go ahead and set your region to America. You don't want to set it to like Asia or the Philippines or anything like that because that is going to be uh, a serious issue. And also, I always suggest using an Ethernet cable if you're able to because Ethernet basically connects you directly to your Wi-Fi router which is definitely pretty effective and is what I personally use but if you guys have any other ideas please let me know in the comment section down below and in the pinned comment please like comment subscribe I'll see you in the next tutorial